Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I am just now getting out of bed. We've been awake for hours. We think we got up at 10 or something, but it's currently 119. I was up at 7.30, fed her, then went back to bed because she has been sleeping through the night the past few nights, but last night she didn't. She was up twice, which still isn't bad, but I was just super tired this morning. So we slept until a little past 10 and then I fed her while still in bed again. Then I just started like watching some of my old vlogs from like last year. I got like hooked and watched like three or four of them. So I just binge watched myself in bed and finally decided that it was time to get up and i decided to get up because i think i'm gonna go to town and run a few errands because i miss running errands like for me whenever we go to town now it's usually to just go to walmart to get something for her or something like that or to go see family but i want to go to town and run errands for me because i haven't done that since having a baby i need to go to ulta because i am out of my favorite face wash i literally have like bubbles left so i need to get more of that and i need to get more setting spray and mascara and stuff and then i also need to get my ring cleaned which this is my wedding ring if you guys are new at my channel since i haven't been wearing it during pregnancy and it finally freaking fits on my finger again it's a little snug but look at it it fits how exciting i'm so excited but i need to get this clean to keep the warranty on it and I want to get my hair cut. I really miss my long hair. Not miss it, but I was watching old vlogs, like I said, and it looked so freaking good. Like back in, the vlogs I was watching was like around Super Bowl last year, um, and it just looked so good. It was so long and healthy and just beautiful. I don't miss having my long hair, but I just looking at it, I just like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it looks so good. At the same time, I want to cut it off because Brecklin's nowadays where she's like starting to grab my hair and I just want it gone. Like I'm just gonna cut it all off. Not all of it, but I think I'm gonna get a, cut a good chunk. That, I'm thinking like shoulder length. So like that probably, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to do. I need to feed her before we leave though, so I'll have to do that. But I'm excited. I do think I need to get gas, which sucks. I was gonna do makeup, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a little sunscreen or something like that. Also, another thing I want to do, it's not gonna happen today, maybe tomorrow or something, if I have it. I don't think I have it anymore. I wanted to color my hair or dye my hair because I haven't done that since being pregnant and Again, when I was watching those vlogs, my hair was just so freaking dark. I loved it. I know you guys are probably like, gosh, it looks dark now, but no, this is not. Just the color that it gets when I dye it, I really like it. So I wanna do that. That'll probably have to be when Jared's home because I'm not gonna try and do that when she, I'm here by myself. I'm just gonna put some of this Say slip tint on. I haven't used this in forever. Again, I was reminded of it from the vlog that I watched, but I didn't really like it back then because of how bad my face was. It's kind of starting to get bad again since postpartum, but it's not terrible. It's not as terrible as it was, but maybe I can start using this again because I, I used to wear so much makeup, which I just cannot even imagine that anymore. Like, no, that is not me. I like quick and easy and like very light. So I don't even, I haven't even worn foundation. I don't know, even know the last time, but this isn't a foundation. It's like a, what is it? It's like a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen. So maybe I'll like it a little more since my face isn't like so full of pimples quite yet and it'll just even things out, you know? But it's also very like glowy and um, not matte. And I like matte because it doesn't really transfer onto Brecklin when I get close to her or she touches my face. But with this being dewy, it's probably going to spread easier and I don't want that. I don't know. I don't even know if you guys can tell the difference, honestly. Is there a difference in my face? Don't know. But at least I have sunscreen on now, you know? So I honestly think that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't feel like doing my makeup or anything. I'm not trying to look cute today or anything. My hair is pretty greasy so i hope they don't care about that when they cut my hair yeah i think i'm gonna do that after i feed her you guys look at this adorable freaking outfit <laughs> it's a little nike outfit and look at the straps on it it's so cute one of my friends gave me another tub of clothes so this was in there and i wanted to make sure this fit her because this is a size newborn and she is a chunky monkey now so i didn't know if it was gonna fit huh she's a chunky girl 
<laughs> oh goodness. But it's got a little bit of room to grow, I feel like. And there's a hot pink one out there too. So freaking adorable. So I just wanted to make sure she gets to wear it a few times before she doesn't fit it anymore. But it's so freaking precious. Hers is so precious. Yeah, her is. Hers is the most beautiful baby in the world, huh? She said, Mom, I'm hungry. Here's the other tub of clothes that we just got from my other friend. There's so many cute clothes in here. I'll have to show you when my hands aren't full, but where's that other pink outfit? But here's the other little outfit that I was showing, telling you about. Look how cute it is. That hot pink is going to look so good on her complexion. I really hope that she can fit into it for when it gets really warm outside because she's a chunky girl and that's dies a newborn, so we'll see. Look at this. See what I'm talking about? She's literally ripping my hair. Ow. Ow! I know, let go! Let go! I know. I'm gonna feed you if you let go. Ow! Child! This just confirms mom needing to get a haircut, huh? Yeah, it does. Okay, let's eat. Before we go, I need to change because you literally can't see. I have like short boy shorts on. But I also want to make a little protein drink before we go. I did make a one-up order the other day and got some new things like this. Iso protein vanilla ice cream. I had that in my oatmeal this morning. It was so good. And then I got some new flavors. Actually, I'm gonna try this one. I got a clear protein, which is so freaking cool. So instead of like making a protein shake, it's just clear pro protein and it's just like a protein drink. And it's got 20 grams of protein, which is awesome. And then I got these little samples. This is whey protein, coconut ice cream, iso protein, peanut butter cookie, and then clear protein, orange mango. So I think I'm gonna make this. I've already had this one and it's very, very yummy. I like it, 10 out of 10. But I thought this is just like the coolest little idea because a lot of times I wanna get protein in, but I don't wanna have to make a freaking shake all the time. Like I don't, I don't love that. So the idea of like just having like a protein drink is so awesome. I'm gonna get some water, about eight ounces. And then put this in there. Mmm, it smells good. And then we just blend it up for a good 30 seconds before we add ice. It gets like really foamy and stuff at the top, but you just wait for that to like settle down and then it'll be fine. Granger is the smartest dog. He saw me putting Brecklin in the car seat and then I let them out to potty. And then when he came in from pottying, he went straight into his kennel. Like I didn't even tell him to get in there. But he just picks up on when we're gonna leave all the time. And so Honey just follows. And they're so good. Most of the time. Most of the time they also drive me absolutely freaking crazy. But yeah, let's try this. Hmm. It's definitely mango-y. I wish it was a little more orangey. But it's good. I like it. It's so refreshing. Okay, I got my freaking 10 pound baby in the car seat. It's so heavy to carry this around. But I also just checked in online at Great Clips and the wait time is 11 minutes. So that's beautiful. I'm not even gonna make it there before 11 minutes. So yeah, we're off and ready to run errands. Time for a little mommy makeover. Okay, so I went to Ulta. I'm pretty proud of myself. I didn't get anything too crazy off my list that I needed. I needed face wash, that was the main thing, mascara, and setting spray. I know, this is for leaving. So I got my face wash, I got my, I got the setting spray. I haven't had the Milani Make It Last setting spray in forever, but it's just like a ch cheap drugstore setting spray that I like. Instead of spending like $30 on one, I just spent $10 on that one. Um, and then the mascara that I get is the Essence Fall Slash Effect Mascara, which I love it. It's the best mascara, drugstore-wise. But I also saw these. They're also the Essence. Um, this is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara Primer. It says it's extra length and volume, so I want to try a primer. But then I also saw this one, and I couldn't pass on this because I love like brown mascara. 
I used to get one from Dollar General um, a few years ago, but I haven't got that in a while. So I wanted to try the Essence one because I love the Essence mascara. So I figured the brown one would look good too. So we got that. Now I'm about to, I don't think I'm going to go get my ring clean, even though it's like right here. I think I'm just going to have to do that tomorrow because I just want to head home because it's almost about to be time to feed her again, probably by the time I get home. But also I did get my hair cut and I don't feel like the lady did a good job. Look at this. What is this? really and it was the most awkward haircut of my life because she just was not very personable didn't really talk or anything so i just like sat there in silence pretty much and oh my god are you kidding me what is going on <sighs> probably the worst haircut ever so i'll probably be going back to another salon to have somebody fix it soon but yeah i don't have time to do that today and i didn't speak up and say anything because i didn't know it was that bad but we're just gonna head home and deal with it another day if you go within like three days of getting your hair cut they're not going to charge you for it needing fixed so i need to make sure that i at least go sometime within the next three days <laughs> Which I probably go tomorrow because Jared has off and yeah. Oh my god, it is so flippin' hot. Oh, 3.33. We're back home now and I'm hungry, but it is also time for her to eat. So, guess who's gonna eat first? My little baby, huh? If she wakes up, are you gonna wake up, sleepy? You are so good. You are literally the best baby. You make mom's life easy, huh? You make mom's life easy. Yeah. Yesterday was our first experience going to church by herself and she was so good and it was also time for her to eat like right when we got to church and she didn't whine or anything. I did feed her a little bit of a bottle but oh which reminds me that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna feed her a bottle and then after that I'm gonna pump because I haven't done that today. I've been really keeping on the pumping once a day schedule minimum and feeding her a bottle. Okay let me go make her a bottle and then I'll come show you what I was gonna show you. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Let's go get a bottle. You wanna give the dogs their last cucumber? Oh, there's a big worm. Here's one for Honey, one for Granger. Oh, no, Honey! Granger, get it. Always trying to steal food from your brother. So I'm making dinner now. It's probably like my first dinner because I might eat again before going to actual bed. But I'm just making ground beef, pinto beans, black beans, jasmine rice, because that's just yummy, huh? We have her dinner. Now mom's gonna have her dinner. And then I'm gonna put sour cream and salsa on it. But I've also been drinking another drink to help for breastfeeding that I saw off of, not TikTok, Instagram. It's basically like what I've been drinking this whole time. Just a little jizzed up, you know? That sounded bad. Just a little oomph to it. So pour some coconut water in there, which I've been using coconut water forever. So I'm just gonna finish it off. And then some body armor. I haven't been drinking the ones that aren't light or they have sugar-free ones. I drink those over these because these just have a lot of sugar and stuff in them. But I, Jared got me this one and I have one left. So I'm going to add about half of it in here, which there's already coconut water in here. So I don't know. Just more coconut water, I guess. What? You're wiggly. You're wiggly. And then the weird thing you add to it is oat milk, which is... It's good, I had it yesterday, but it's just a very odd thing to add to this mixture, I feel like. But if they say that it helps, then I'm gonna add it. So I do about that much, and then I add ice. It's a pretty color, huh? Is that a pretty color, sis? Where are all my straws? I guess we'll use one of Dad's straws. Let's try it. I've never had a pink drink at Starbucks before. But I imagine it tasting like something like this. I have no idea. Also, I was doing dishes and got my shirt wet, so ignore that. I just got done pumping and she took a little nap on the couch. Honey, I'll get you water in a second. Chill out. But she took a little nap on the couch and the minute I was done pumping, she woke up. So she let mom pump, but she didn't let her do much other stuff, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but now it's about time to get in the jammies. It's 7 p.m. We're gonna get ready for bedtime, huh? Yeah, we are. But I was just bringing in some diapers to load up her caddy for the night, and it got me thinking. Tomorrow, we're gonna go into town. We have to do a 
bunch of stuff I feel like. I feel like we have a million errands to run tomorrow, but we're also doing something very exciting. I can't wait to show you guys, but we got like for my baby shower a bunch of different diapers and stuff like brands and the ones that we always use with her are pampers the swaddler ones and we like them they seem to work really well for her and then we've been always using the honest wipes which we're almost out of but these are my favorite wipes the honest ones we have used the pamper ones and they're great too but majority of the wipes that we have are honest we did run out of like our diaper bag set of wipes so we went to walmart one day and got just like a little like travel pack is what it was and they only had them in huggies and we used those for like a day and a half and noticed that she was getting a rash on her bottom so as soon as I mentioned like that it could be the wipes Jared like left the house it was like literally like almost 10 o'clock at night we were at his parents' house. He left there and like went to the store to get different kinds of wipes and it's been good ever since. So I think the Huggies just with her skin is not great so we don't use those. But we have in her closet a full box of like 336 wipes of Huggies and then a set of diapers, a box of diapers. So I'm gonna try and take those back and I saw a video on Instagram the other day that if you take your boxes of diapers and stuff to Target, they'll accept it and just like let you exchange them. Now, I don't know if that works if you didn't get them from Target because I don't know where they got them from, where they're from our baby shower. So I'm hoping that works and we can just exchange those because we're not gonna use them. Because it hurts our baby girl's bottom, huh? Yeah, it makes our baby girl's bottom red. We don't like that, no. So we're gonna try and do that tomorrow and like, I want to try the Millie Moon diapers. I've heard good things about that. I've heard Coterie or something like that is like the best brand, but I don't have the money to pay for that. If they don't have Millie Moon or I don't know what the price of Millie Moon is, we'll just stick with the Pampers because they've been good to us so far. Somebody's calling me. Who's calling me? I don't know. But like, yeah, I just wanted to mention that because like if you had bought like a full box of like newborns or whatever and they run out of newborns before they like you get to that box, the girl on her reel said that you can take them back to Target and they like accept them for exchanges and stuff. Only up to $100 or something like that though. So that's nice. Huh, that's nice. Hopefully they'll accept all our stuff tomorrow so we can get you some more diapers. Cause you are almost out. You are almost out, yeah you are. Now it's your least favorite part. Huh, your least favorite part of the night is getting your cold massage. I'm gonna try and warm it up for you. Warm it up, warm it up, warm it up, warm it up, warm it up. <laughs> but this just makes her smell so good and it makes her so tough. Oh yeah, that's not that bad, huh? Did mom do a good job warming it up? Yeah. Are you gonna talk? Also, my hair is so bad. Like, it looks so ridiculous in this ponytail. Ah, they messed mama's hair up. They messed it up. How rude. Let's get you in your little pajamas. Let's get you in your jammies. Put your sockies on. Keep your feetsies warm. Put it on your right foot. Good girl. And we put it on your left foot. Good girl. You're so smart. You're the smarty pants. Oh, yeah? What else? Tell me all about it. Oh, such a pretty baby. Should we brush your hair? You're getting such a big girl, you stand up. You're too big. Weren't you just in my tummy yesterday? Weren't you just in mom's tummy yesterday? I think so. Yeah, I think so. You are taking over mom and dad's bed. All your clothes, your diapers, your swaddles. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do this quick because Miss Thing is wanting to be held. Well, she's about to get hungry. I think she's getting hungry. But I didn't really show you my Ulta haul earlier. But this is the cleanser that I get. I freaking love it. It's the best cleanser ever. It's my favorite. Are you gonna focus? The La Roche-Posay Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I love it. I only used it during pregnancy. Like that's when I started using it. So I don't really know if I had just clear skin because I was pregnant or if it was because of this cleanser. But I'm thinking it's like kind of hopefully a mixture of both because I am starting to get more breakouts but I feel like maybe this is you know helping it a little bit. I've got to go. <laughs> so then the Milani Make It Last Matte Setting Spray and then Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. The same one except in brown. It's actually like a black brown and then the same thing except mascara primer. That's my old haul and I'm excited to use these tomorrow but I'm just gonna 
wash my face and then get into bed and start editing maybe make a reel i haven't made a reel in a few days and that's kind of depressing because i was doing so good one of my reels hit a million views on instagram and some more are at like 500,000, which is crazy so i definitely like being consistent with that and i have for a few days so i'm gonna try and get back to that maybe tonight but yeah i will see you guys tomorrow You guys, look how curly, or how short my hair is when it's curly. I look like a freaking poodle. I just washed it, and it's so clean. It was like kind of greasy and stuff when I got it cut yesterday, so I decided to wash it, and I'm going back to a different place to get it cut again today because it's just not good. It annoys the crap out of me, but I need to blow dry it and straighten it and everything and get ready because we have a big thing that we're getting ready to go do, and I can't wait to bring you guys along. I'm so excited. Baby girl's just being an angel, swinging her swing while I get ready. It's giving Lord Farquaad. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Look at that. That's so much longer than this. All same layer. Okay, how many different shirts am I gonna wear? But I got done straightening my hair and I like the length of it, but it just needs fixed. Like I showed you, there's a lot of errors that happen. So I just need to go get it fixed. But other than that, I like it. It's a very short shirt. When he got home, he's like, how much did you freaking cut off? <laughs> but I showed him it when it was wet. So it was obviously way shorter, but I think it's cute with this length. It just needs to get fixed. Happy? Yeah. You happy girl? You happy girl? Since mom fed you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the smiles. All the smiles. Yeah. All the smiles. All the smiles. <laughs> goodness you guys so much to fill you up on today I feel like first and foremost I got a new car and I'm so excited we upgraded from a Ford Explorer to a Ford Expedition so I got my mom car I'm officially a mom now especially with my mom haircut are you kidding me the lady was so cute she's so with her sleeping making noises the lady that fixed it today said the lady yesterday like literally she had no idea what the heck she did with my hair like it took her like 15 minutes to like go through each section of my hair and try and figure out what the heck she was doing but she ended up having to take another inch off my hair which is fine like i wanted it short anyways and i'm pretty sure this is the shortest it's been that i've ever had not ever had it but like since it's been you know down to here when i cut it this last summer but yeah i really like it it's gonna take some getting used to because it's so short but i really like it you know it's something different. But yeah, I feel so much better and I'm happy that the lady was able to fix it today. So that was great and I didn't have to pay for it, but we did give her a, a good tip because the lady today fixed my hair amazing and it feels so good. But what else? I got a new car, my mom haircut. We went to Target, exchanged one of the Huggies diapers. They took the exchange and we got some Millie Moon diapers. I'll go show you those. I'm excited to try those out. Um, but they didn't take the wipes because I think if I remember right, Jared's mom got those wipes off of Amazon because we also went to Walmart to try and exchange them. And they're like, we don't sell those here either. So I'm pretty sure they're from Amazon, which I don't know how to return those since it's probably been too long. I don't know. We'll have to see. Also, um, when we exchanged the diapers at Target, we need more wipes. So we got more wipes and they were having a spend $75 on diapers, wipes kind of combo thing. And when you do that, you get a $15 
Target gift card. So we got a $15 Target gift card, which is exciting. I'll be able to use that next purchase. But I also got these Kleenex hand towels. I saw somebody talk about these. I can't freaking remember who, but if y'all know, if you've been at my channel for a while, when I wash my face, I use paper towels to dry my face instead of like towels or something like that because just for bacteria's sake, you're not like reusing a hand towel or face towel or you know whatever I'm trying to say. You don't reuse it like night after night. You just use it and throw it away. Like I know they sell like a pack of disposable like face towels on Amazon, but those are expensive. And so I got these. They're the Kleenex hand towels and they're basically the same thing as paper towels. And they were, this was $3. So I'm gonna try these out. And then I got two poppies. I already drank the grape one and it was so good. And then I got this cherry limeade one which i'm interested to try i got this one because i figured jared might drink it but he probably won't he probably doesn't want it he didn't really like my grape one when he tasted it i should have got the strawberry lemon one or something i don't know but we'll see the grape poppy was the first poppy i've had ever um i've had olipops and i only like the grape olipop so i'm excited to test out more poppies but anyway let's go to her nursery and i'll show you her new diapers these are the wipes that we get we honestly love the honest brand but those are so expensive and we got a ton of honest wipes for my baby shower but then when we actually went to buy them we're like um let's just get the pampers because you get way more for your money but we really love the honest brand so we might get them next i don't know and then we got two boxes of the millie moon diapers these were cheaper than the pampers swaddler ones that we usually get the swaddler ones i can't remember how many i think they had like 80 something diapers or something or 98 96 something and this one had 108 it was like a few dollars cheaper and i've heard really good thing about things about millie moon so i'm excited to try these out she's already in size one diapers well not already like she's almost two months old so she was a newborn for quite a while i feel like but she only has newborn diapers in her diaper bag and while i was getting my hair cut jared was watching her and she had a blowout and it got all over her it got all over him but she's like in between newborn and one sizes because i feel like ones drown her out but like newborns are kind of getting a little snug but yeah let's look at these diapers together oh these are cute these are so freaking soft are you kidding me these are so adorable look at these oh my god i'm obsessed these are so soft it says feather soft on them and they are very feather soft i love these i'm so excited for her The bloom stock tastes so much better when you mix it with something other than just plain water. Mix it with coconut water, it's okay, but if you mix it with something else with flavor, it's way better. But good morning, it's 10, 19. I just had to give baby girl a bath because when she got done feeding this morning, she threw up all over herself and all over me. And I have yet to get a shower yet, but that's okay. Jerry's in the shower now because he has to get ready to go to work. But I now have sister in her swing and she's taking a nap. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna take advantage of it and get some editing done because I need to get, I need to be better about editing during like the day and stuff because I always expect to go to bed and edit at night but she is like her most like clingy and stuff at night and she either just wants to be held or cluster feed and so from like 7 to 9 30 ish I don't get anything done because I'm just holding her or she has my full attention and then by the time I get her down at like 9 45 ish to 10 I'm ready for bed. So I'm like, okay, well, I didn't get anything done. So that's not productive. And it's kind of stressing me out because I'm thinking, well, how the heck am I supposed to edit videos when I go back to work? Because obviously I'm gonna work all day during the day. And then I want to give her attention after work. And if I can't edit while well, I'm, I don't know. It just had me stressed it. And I'm like, I'm gonna have to quit YouTube. <laughs> but I'm gonna figure it out and we're, we're not going anywhere, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go edit and I also need to make something to eat because I'm hungry. I'm drinking my protein shake, but it's already over there. So it is 6.38 and I have not vlogged at all. I 
have mainly what I've even done. I just got done putting her laundry away and stuff and going through her freaking drawers and like taking out what doesn't fit her anymore or what's not going to fit her anymore because as of tomorrow, she is no longer a newborn. She'll be eight weeks tomorrow and that is... How did it go so fast? I don't understand. I put her in her pajamas because it is, it technically is bath night, but she got a bath this morning since she threw up all over herself. So we don't have to give a bath tonight, which is nice because <laughs> I don't feel like doing that. But I had to rearrange her drawers because like she has a lot of zero to three month clothes and it didn't fit in the section that I did. So I had to like rearrange the whole thing. And I didn't, I haven't been vlogging today because my card has been in my camera or my computer because I've been editing so every time I pick up the camera it says no no card in camera so I'm like oh well I guess I'm not vlogging this but yeah we went to Dollar General earlier and I got some oatmeal because I've really been enjoying an oatmeal lately and um, I was out what I, oh I also got hair dye which I was gonna dye my hair in this vlog but since I just washed my hair yesterday for somebody else to cut it since it was like really greasy I'm not gonna dye my hair until it's closer to the next wash but yeah I got hair dye which I use box dye which I've always used if you're an OG and watch my channel for a while you've seen me dye my hair plenty of times with box dye but it works for my hair and literally I cannot tell you how many times the person yesterday told me that I had like gorgeous hair and she wished that she had my hair so obviously it doesn't kill my hair so you sleepy she being a little cuddly girl. I did manage to get a little bit of editing done. I did shower while Jared was here, but I still need to finish editing. I didn't get it all the way done. But yeah, I'm trying to think of what else I did. Maybe just sat here and edited. I fed her. I was gonna go for a walk, but it's just windy out. But yeah, I don't know how long this vlog is exactly, but I'm gonna close it out here because I'm literally gonna be just probably moving to the bedroom and then trying to edit or I might just be doing the rest of this the rest of the night because this seems to be the only thing that I do in the evenings with her until it's time to go to bed. So yeah, I do need to make some supper, but I don't know. I'm tired. I didn't even give you guys a tour of my new car. You guys saw the outside of it, but I'll have to like give you a tour if you guys want a tour of it in the next vlog. Somebody remind me in the comments if you guys want to see that. It's nothing special. It's just a Ford Expedition, but it's our new family vehicle and it's exciting. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I respond to all my comments. So let's chat. Stop gagging yourself. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future video from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile.